What's up everybody? Welcome to the second tutorial on XHTML. Today we're going to be learning about colors. We're going to be learning how to add background color to our website and also change the text color of our website. So in the last tutorial, as you can see, we added a title and some bot text to our website. Our title, we called it My Title and we displayed it right up here and in the body we added some text we wrote this is my body and as you can see this website is kind of plain right now so let's say you wanted to add some colors and make it look a little better so you might be thinking alright any information for my head goes in between my head tags any information for my body goes in between my body tags so where exactly would I be adding the colors and to do this you need to add something called an attribute and all attributes go in the beginning tag of whatever you're changing nothing ever goes in the end tag so since we want to change the background color for the entire body right now we want to add it to the opening body tag and to do this you click between the Y and the end bracket for the body type of space and the attributes name for background color is BG color and there's the background color and that's the name BG color but now we have to have something to change it to and say we wanted to make it red so we put equals in quotation marks we put red and quotation and now as you can see our attribute is background color that's what we want to change and we want to change it to red this is the value of it and I want it to apply to the whole body the whole entire body so that's why we put it in the beginning body tag so now as you can see body tag space BG color equals red in quotation marks now our background color for the body should be red so let's take a look at that and as we can see the background color is now red now let's say we wanted to change the text color of the body. Well that's easy. The attribute for text color is text. And say we wanted to change it to white. So we put equals and put white in quotation marks. And remember all of this is going, going in the opening tag of the body and it applies to the entire body. You never type anything in the end tag. So the format to add attributes is name what attribute equals and name what value you want to change it to in quotation marks. So now if we take a look we should have the background color red and the text color white. So let's take a look at that and as you can see our text color is now white. So the next thing we want to do is add a heading to our website and a heading is just pretty much like a title of the paragraphs you just add it wherever you want actually just to make things stand out and it's easier just to show you so the tag for heading is H and then whatever number 1 to 6 1 being the biggest 6 being the smallest so let's type heading 1 and then close it by typing that backslash h1 and now we have heading number one this is the biggest heading so let's go save that and see what it looks like as you can see this is bigger than the regular text because you put headings to make things stand out like I said like a title and they vary from sizes 1 to 6 and let me show you real quick what show you what size is three and size is six lo six looks like so this will be heading number three and I'll put heading number six below it and I'm gonna go ahead and save this and launch it and as you can see, one's going to be the biggest, three is going to be average size, and six is going to be the smallest. 
and you can add these in order like um, some people add them at the beginning in paragraphs some people add them above images um, you can just add them anytime you feel like it it's up to you so let's go ahead and get rid of those and say you had a paragraph that you wanted to add it to so I'm gonna explain to you how to make your first paragraph tag to begin a paragraph is simple it's just P so let's go ahead and put our bracket P close it off and type this is a paragraph and let me just copy that and paste it a few times to symbolize paragraph text and to end it you would type bracket backslash P so this is our paragraph and this is where it ends and anything in between it is going to show up as a paragraph so now we should have a title at the beginning and then we should have a heading called heading number one and then we should have a paragraph all in our body text which should be red with white text so let's save that and take a look at it as you can see this is where we wrote this is my body here's the heading number one and here is the paragraph now that's all the time we have for right now but in the next tutorial I'm going to be teaching you how to add a line break to your paragraph and how to align it and also teaching you about list and how to format text and if you're not already there you can go to my website thenewboston.com and it will give you a step-by-step -step tutorial of everything we went over today so you can review it thanks